What up, YouTube? Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> Six month anniversary of being married. Tony Marie, we're here. Like actually here too. <laughs> it's a crazy privilege that I'm standing here today getting to promise myself to my best friend of 15 years. I've been in love with you since we were 15 years old at Oki Park, Tom. It's hard to describe it, but I feel like we've been drawn to each other for our entire lives. When it comes to our love, there is no start or end. Our love is constant. You have been the one constant in my life for the past 13 years. Anthony, you're my partner and best friend. We're just two kids out here in Texas winging it together <laughs> with no adult supervision, and I love it. <laughs> you really are my everything. I already loved you for half of my life, and I'll continue to love you for the rest of my life. So we're gonna go have a really nice steak dinner. The sundial is at the top of this building on the 70, 72nd floor. So we're going all the way up, all the way up. Yeah. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.
of that while I record it. Okay, I'm ready. Do you want it like, like across? Ooh. Like start here and then go? What you gotta do? Tell me when to go. Go for it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just get my little loosey goosey. I'm trying to get her a little loosey goosey. Oh man, this sky behind you looks crazy. Looks good? It's wild. Am I the view or is that the view? <laughs> You, of course, though. <laughs> okay, I love you so much. Cheers. Cheers, happy, happy six, six months. months. Welcome back. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know you like that. Welcome back. Anyways, guys, we're back because that we're trying a... <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. back. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I know you like that. Welcome back. Now, who back. sings that? Welcome, welcome. You'll never get mace. I will never get yeah. mace. Anyways, this guy knows more about music than I do. But anyways, this is a port. Y'all ever heard about a port? I ain't never heard about a port in my entire life. But I heard that some people went down <laughs> to the coast of Africa. This is what my waiter told me. I'm just regurgitating. Went down to the coast of Africa. They had things, right? But they wanted to add a little razzle-dazzle to their wine. So they added a little liqueur from Africa to their wine. But then they realized, man, it ain't gonna stay fresh when we get to where we get to go, and so we gotta drink it. That's and how you interpreted like, this, this story? This is a concoction. <laughs> this is a vibe. So now I bring you to a port, hundreds and hundreds of years later. And you know what? One thing about me, YouTube, I'm about an experience. I might hate this shit. I might You're say going never to. again. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to try it because I want to say one day when someone brings up, oh, have you tried a port? I'm like, yeah, I tried it. It wasn't for me. But it might be for me. Let's so see your facial dilly reaction. dilly to my first port. Let's see your facial reaction. Yeah. Tastes like a plum. A plum? Tastes like almost like. Have you had a plum? You before? won't like this. I've never had a plum. Oh, yeah. You won't like this because you know what this tastes like? I've had a, a date. Once. It tastes like, oh, like a date in a glass. Like it dates. tastes like a date. I like dates. Mm -mm. Give me the camera. And the captain now. Look at the view out there. Ooh. Nice. Port. Does he love the port? Does he hate the port? A little aroma. A little port aroma. P O R T. Port. <laughs> tastes like wine. Like spiced wine. Yeah, but like kind of like a datey wine. Tastes like a date to me. That's kind of sweet. It's like spiced wine. It tastes See? like it should be warm almost. Like warm? I don't know. You know, know what I'm talking about like the warm. Christmas market wine that you get. Oh, like that's that, fair. Like, like the spice one we used to have in exactly, Chicago. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like the Kris Kringle market. Type thing. Fair. I miss no. the Kris Kringle market. One day we're gonna go back. Hundred percent. Anyway, so we found this bar, y'all. I know I'm really close. <laughs> we. What is it called? I don't know. Where are we going? So I texted my friend Aaliyah. I used to work with her in corporate America world, but I was like, this girl lives in Atlanta. She knows the nightlife here. She's so cute. And I was like, where do we go? I want like a loungy mature vibe. Like I don't want to be in a club, but I want to have a nice cocktail with like a vibe. JoJo's beloved cocktail on is where we're going. Obviously we'll show you guys if we can. Sometimes they're weird about cameras here because this is a very nice quality camera, but you know what? We're going to sneak it. Cause I'd rather beg for forgiveness <laughs> I'd rather beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. That's wow. what Bay always says. And that's what he bad, always says. So. <laughs> no, you taught me that. You Bye. did. <laughs> had a really good time ants here he's here we had a good time we went to the Bacardi pre-party event it was amazing it was great and then we went to Sundial. Sundial and it's actually kind of a cool name because essentially what the building is is like this round building at the top of the Westin Hotel and if you know like sundials and the history of like what that means it's oh, like that's history. how people used to tell time <laughs> 
was a sundial. What and it was based on where the sun was in the sky. I don't know what people... Who are these people? You know what a sundial did. A sundial was all about how to tell time, depending on where the sun was in the sky. So it's kind of cool that this, like, rooftop restaurant is called the Sundial, and it literally had the best sunset views. It was a vibe. We had some oysters. We had some good cocktails. We had some good lobster. Okay, it was good. You had, like, two history lessons today. On oh, yeah. Port. And then I told and you about here. port wine. <laughs> on sundials. I know a lot of history Thank about you. things <laughs> and experiences. You want to experience? I can give you the history behind the experience. I do love that. Count on me for that. I'm going to soak it all in. Okay? <laughs> I didn't like history growing up. But now that I'm out here in the world, I want to hear all about the things and how they became things. So, history is cool now. It wasn't cool back then. But now that I can put my hands onto the history and experience it, maybe I want to know. Maybe I want to find out where it came from. The port wine that we tried tonight honestly was rich. I did not finish the port wine. Neither of us finished the port wine. It was great to try, but like I think I don't need as many drinks before I try it vibe. But then after the sundial, we were like, okay, we need one more cocktail. We're the type of couple that's like, I want a nice dinner and I want to go to like a lounge. I don't want to go to like a bar, loud people screaming at each other. I want to go to like a lounge with some like loungy music, nice leather couches or nice seats. It's a vibe, the lighting is good, and there's good music. I texted my friend, Leah, like I think I told you guys this earlier in the vlog, and she texted us a few places, and we ended up going to a really cool area of Atlanta. I think it's technically the midtown of Atlanta. It kind of felt like that, but the place was called... JoJo's. Oh, yeah. The place was called JoJo's. So, actually, we didn't have a reservation. I would highly recommend if you're coming to Atlanta to get a reservation because I definitely smooth the people... <laughs> 100%. I 100% put the moves on them. I put the energy on them. And I was like, you're going to let me into this place, whether I got a reservation or not. Obviously, I didn't tell them that. I told them the right things to make them feel like they wanted to give me or make me fit into their schedule that they had going on. A lot of people got turned away tonight. Let me tell you, there was a lot of people in line with Anthony shaking his head because he knows. There was a lot of people in line with us tonight that did not have a reservation that I don't think ever made it in. My whole thing is I've been in service and the service that I've been in was like the most, you dealt with the most crap you could ever deal with. Okay, I worked at Hooters. Let's just be real. Let's just like take the, take, just, let's just like lay it out there. I worked at Hooters. Okay, people suck that come into Hooters. Okay, so I know the worst of the worst. Listen, I dealt with it all. I was very kind. I let her know, hey, my friends told us about this place. No big deal if you can't get us in tonight. But we heard it's a vibe. Let us know what you can do. No problem if you have to tell us bad news. Totally fine. We can find another place. And I told her, and that was very transparent. Like, I know your job is hard. But I do want to go inside. So what can you do for me? And she was like, okay, no worries. Give me 15 minutes. There's an 830 reservation. If they don't show up, it's all yours. And me in my head, I'm like thinking like, who wouldn't show up to their reservation? Now it's been me before, but the chances of me not showing up to my reservation are far few and in between. So I'm like praying that this like two people don't show up to the reservation. They let us know, hey, just sit outside the door. Me, I was tempted with a good time when I was sitting outside the door because there was so much fun music playing in the little like lobby at the Westin, the Westin lobby, okay? You don't have anywhere to go, go there because the music was chef's kiss. Everyone's vibing and I was like telling him, I was like, we could just go down there. We just go down there and have a drink. Like, why are we waiting? And he's like, just wait, 12, 15 minutes. So I'm like, but the music is good. He's like, no, nah, just wait. And so then obviously we waited the 15 minutes and then she was like, come on. And so we went inside. It was so beautiful. It was such a vibe. It was all like 70s, 80s music, which I adore and love. I swear my 30th has to be a 70s or 80s theme of some sort. Boogie Wonderland vibes. But it was very, very aesthetically pleasing on the inside. The cocktails were awesome. They were actually named or like they put like credit towards some of their bartenders and people that work behind the bar. Like this is her cocktail. And like we heard people calling this mixologist by her name. And then we saw the name in the menu. And we're like, is this her cocktail? And we asked her and she's like, yeah, I created that cocktail. It's in the menu. So I thought that was very, very was cool, cool. personable. Touch. Yeah, exactly. Like a personal touch that they're crediting their mixologist with like these cocktails because a lot of bars don't even care about their mixologist. Like, let's just be real. They only care about their consumer. They only care about how much money they're coming in. This place, if you're going to spend some money in Atlanta and you want a lounge, I would say spend your dollar here because they're actually taking care of their people that work there. And you can tell out. They're happy when they like serve you and it's a whole thing. So you could you can see it. It definitely is a mixologist vibe over a bartender vibe. The music is boogie. 
and groovy and vibey. And we had a really, really good time. But the reality is we do have to work tomorrow. The reality is I'm here on a brand trip, which means I have deliverables and things and expectations of me. So I can't just be out all night like, you know what I mean? Tomorrow, luckily, we're so lucky. Our car does not pick us up to go to the festival until 2 30. How great is that? I'm excited to see Jagged Edge and say, Way, where the party at? We're gonna be. No, 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 where the party We're gonna be jamming. We're gonna be jamming. Jamming. 95. Shut up, Paul. Just, Just give me the light. <laughs> Yeah. You know what it is. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. No, it's a blast. No. We can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. But it's time for us to get some rest, eat some snacks that we picked up at the hotel. Law Bay. You feel me? Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's all I got. Peace. It's gonna feel a little bit rushed, but we're all ready. I'll show you guys my makeup. I did some like little jewels on the eyes. How cute. Hair lasted till day two. Bits. Sorry, the quality is gonna drop off a little bit here, but we'll be back on the camera tomorrow because we're going to the festival and I can't bring the camera. We're excited. Our driver's here, so we have to head out. Today's the day, so let's go have a good time, right? Deal. All right, bye y'all. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, we're bringing you in. Just on our phones. <laughs> Hey YouTube, it's Sunday, it's our last day in Atlanta. We're going back to Dallas today at the end of the day, but I'm sorry I didn't even speak to you guys last night after the festival. We were tired, exhausted. She was asleep by nine. I was asleep by nine o'clock like an old I lady. I fall asleep sadly, but. <laughs> I was asleep like an old lady. The festival took it out of me. We got really hungry. If you know anything about music festivals, there's always lines for everything, but these lines were aggressively long. The food in Atlanta is really good, so all the food trucks that they had come out were like very well known. And of course I wanted to get something good. So we went to like the second, I guess, like longest line yeah. and stayed in that line because we we're like, obviously this food is good. But that line we were in for was probably a whole hour. So I was standing still basically for an Stop hour. It. Everyone in that line was cracking up being like, oh my God, we're all turning into gremlins. We're so hangry. <laughs> like we all need to be fed. People were cheering when they got their food. When we turned around with our food, there was a whole group of people cheering for us that like it was our time to eat. And we literally popped down on like this little ice chest next to the food truck and scarfed all the food down. And then by that time, um, Lauren Hill was performing. No, Sean Paul was performing. Sure. Lauren Hill wasn't performing yet, but Sean Paul was performing, and then another person. So there was a lot of people. I saw Sean Paul for two seconds with my own eyes, and then I was like, I gotta go home. I'm too old. Because once it turns nighttime at a festival, the crowds are there. It's super. I like get like apocalyptic I, looking. <laughs> yes, like everyone's moving in one. I don't know. I get a lot of anxiety around that large group of people, especially like in tight spaces. And the walkways were starting to get really crowded. So I was like, I got, I gotta go. It's time for me to go. But the festival overall was so much fun. The crowd. Was was actually way better than any music festival I've ever been to besides Coachella. Coachella is a whole different experience, but everything else was perfect. People brought yoga mats and we're sitting on yoga mats. Jagged Edge was amazing and it was just like fun. So we just ate brunch as you guys saw and then now we're heading over to the mall to go shopping for a little bit because I have a lot of events this month. As you guys know, like any other month, my life goes by so fast so I have like my tea party event coming up I have the Lizzo Lexus experience coming up that I have a whole weekend with them I have another like staycation getaway opportunity in Dallas and my sister's coming Anthony's mom is coming this month there's a lot going on this month and then I have a gala at the beginning of November and then we go home for Thanksgiving I have my birthday just found out I might be going to Art Basel in Miami so I don't even know what's gonna happen for the rest of the year but we're gonna be busy so I figured we should just go to the mall and see if we can find some stuff oh and we're dropping an Amazon line clothing lines so all that stuff a lot of stuff going on so yeah we're gonna go to the mall we're gonna check it out and our flight doesn't leave until 7.30 tonight, so we probably need to get to the airport around like five or so. That's all, just wanted to fill you guys in and let's go shopping. Getting Anthony an early Christmas gift. Okay. 
Kind of a gift to myself though, because I can wear them too. I don't wear a lot of designer. He doesn't wear a lot of designer at all, but look at the side. So cute. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good side. Oh, yeah. Easy, classic glasset that he can wear every day. He's modeling for us. Prada Bay. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> this is Anthony's nice. been looking at this shirt, not in this color, but in black. Now he finally got to try nice. it on. Why so, what size is that? If you wear a lot of black, you can always mix it up. She's oh, got YouTube. the clears on. YouTube, these are the ones that Anthony wants, but they don't have a size, but we can mail them to him. The clears. What do y'all think? This is a classic boot. This is a boot that's going to stay with you for life. Right? Whatever you got to tell yourself to make the purchase, you know? That's <laughs> 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 all you got to I've been waiting to see them on your feet since the moment I saw them. more of a Jordan guy, you know. You need a pair of boots, okay? The Doc Martens are cool, but they're not that cool. No, I agree. Actually, I don't think I need this. Okay, cool. Guys, I'm gonna do the clear, as you can see. But they don't got the clear on Anthony's side, so I might be the only one that can get them right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, boy, I'll see you. Sheesh. Sheesh. Put the other one on. Down, actually, sorry to make you do yeah. that. Oh, no worries. But I do think I'm swimming a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm grabbing for you. Thank you. What do you think? They're insane. Looking. Do you love them? They're huge, bro. I feel like a, like I'm running. But McDonald's. they look so like good. This. I think they look so good. Stop walking like that. I can't stand you. <laughs> no, they're cool. Oh, they look they're so nice. good.